back to Guitar Wishes and your Guitar Wish of the Day. My name is Lee, once again coming to you from Guitar Wishes facility here in downtown Lincolnton, North Carolina. Before we get too far into today's video, I would like to say congratulations to Mr. Jimmy Hensley. Jimmy Hensley got correct the, uh, the question from, yeah. ow. 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 From, <laughs> from the last video we did. Uh, Josh was sitting with me and playing the lick and the question was, what is he playing? And Jimmy answered correctly with Summer of 69. Now, be sure to watch the end of the video today because we've got another question for you. We're going to be giving away some prizes. So uh, be sure and stay to the end of the video for that. Uh, we're really excited today. I'm joined with Hayden. Uh, What's up, yeah. man? Yeah. That is me. I am Hayden. Yes. That's right. He is the one and only. And it's a pleasure to be joined by Hayden, uh, as always. And uh, today we're going to bring to you a couple of Martins that we've got in the shop. Uh, these are a couple of really unique guitars that we've had hanging up. I've been looking for the, kind of the right time to, to bring these out. And uh, today just seemed like a great day to bring these out and, and jam on them for a little while. So uh, this first one I like to, to point out, the one that Hayden's got. Now this is one of 200. This is a Martin limited edition. This is a Nub X. Okay, now people are going to want to know what Nub X means. Nub is a, uh, a painter mm. for uh, Nub Graphics, and they are custom painters for Orange County Choppers. Yep. And so he developed this artwork for the top of the soundboard here. And again, this is one of 200. And if we're going to here to the headstock, we've got the signature down there for Nub. This black, this really, really cool looking black headstock, black tuners. This black here, this is a black... Mercotton nut come all the way down the uh, the fretboard here. Now this is a really cool guitar. This is HPL front, back, and sides. Okay. What is HPL? That's high pressure. Pressure lamb, lamb in it. That's high pressure lamb. Now. now some people have been worried about that yeah. when we tell them. Explain what that is. It's kind of just like this preconceived notion. If it's not a solid piece of wood, I don't want it. You know, but I mean. They're unique guitars, they play amazing, and they sound even better. And I would be, I would bet money that if you had a blindfold on and somebody had this and another, you know, Martin with solid woods, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. And, yeah. You know, so it's just, it's all hearsay. Absolutely, and the tonality and the crispness and the brightness coming out of these yeah, instruments yeah. is, is uh, unmatched. It's, and so, yeah, it's on par with any other, you know, solid body guitar. Absolutely, really. and this one's got Fishman Electronics in it, uh, so you can plug it out. Plug it in for anybody who wants to look unique on stage. Uh, you can sure do it with this instrument. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, now, if we come over here to the one I'm holding, this is a Martin DX Limited Edition, 175th anniversary. Of course, with the the Martin graphics on it. Let's see if Martin right there. Um, now, this the back and the sides of this. This is Indian rosewood. Indian rosewood on the back and the sides. All right. Stratabon neck here. And that, I believe the nub has a bond also. Absolutely. All right. This is a dreadnought shape, 20 frets. And the top of this one is the HPL also, the high pressure laminate. Uh, again, both of them sound uh, great. Absolutely. Uh, you can yeah. plug this one in. This is a, just strictly acoustic. Um, but just a really, really good quality and amazing um, playing guitars. Oh, yeah. Um, so. It's just, it's just what you expect from Martin. It's just because it's HBL, it's not going to be any different. Yeah. It's just still a quality sounding and playing and right. quality made guitar. So let's play something for him. Let, him. let him see how it sounds. Absolutely, I will. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate Not that. No problem, man. Not a you know, problem. one day I want to be able to play like you do. 
it, it takes work. You know? Well, hopefully uh, you know somebody that gives, oh, you give lessons, don't you? <laughs> I, I might. <laughs> Who's asking, man? <laughs> no, I uh, do. Yeah. But if, if you don't know, uh, he's one of our instructors here, and so is Josh. You've seen Josh on other videos. And believe it or not, a couple of videos back, we had Cecil Partlow on, and we've been able to twist Cecil's arm. And he's actually <laughs> going to come in and teach a class for experienced bass players. So you saw him popping and slap, and you want to be able to do that, get in touch with us here at Guitar Wishes. Uh, comment down below if you want to be part of that class. Cecil's going to be taking care of that. It's going to be a really, really cool time. I might even join that myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, maybe our, our owner, Roger, will go into that too. Oh, yeah. I think so, yeah. That'd be fun. Um, but I'm anyway. too busy to teach. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the last. I need it. <laughs> well, um, I would like to go ahead and throw out this week's question. So if you want to win uh, some really cool prizes, your question is, go back and find out the answer to this. What amp did Leo Fender develop for Dick Dale? We covered that in the Dick Dale memorial video that we did. Again, what amp did Leo Fender develop for Dick Dale? Or do you know? I do, but that I don't want to give anything away. <laughs> oh, well, you're not getting any prizes anyway. All right, so comment below if you know the answer to that question. The first person, actually, let's do three. So the yeah. first three people that, that uh, comment correctly down below will receive a prize, and I'll tell you about that next time. All right? Again, thanks so much for yeah, no, joining us, Hayden. Absolutely. And we'll talk to you soon. Peace. Peace.